Hi there. This is Fantasy for the Ages, the show where father and son sit down and talk about fantasy on location. Uh, I'm Zach, the son of that equation. And I'm the father, Jim. Thanks for being with us here today in a very unusual setting. Uh, for one thing, of course, as you said, we're actually yeah, no, sitting to down see together. You actually be able to... This is weird. This is weird. <laughs> It's also weird because the camera's different. I keep looking at my face and that don't work. I gotta look at the camera. It's somewhere over there. Yeah, it's somewhere fine. like that. Uh, and I'm holding a microphone. Uh, we know our sound won't be as good as usual, hmm. but it'll be good enough. We believe you can hear us and I will try to fix it if I need to in post. Absolutely, as long as you can hear us, things are good. And while we're at it, you might even hear some other things. There are plenty of other people here at Jordan Con where we are Jordan currently. Con! Uh, including the dusty wheel over that way that's right that's right i you know we can try this anyways if we turn the camera they can maybe see oh hey there's jordo rachel jordo jordo con and way off in the distance there you might be able to see it there is a live recording going on of the dusty wheel uh i know some of you saw me on the dusty wheel the first day of jordan con or it was the pre-day maybe anyways i Something was in the like background that. going hi you know i was hiding behind matt hatch yeah 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 we were there you probably saw us both uh but they're just having fun over there now this is the one time where okay this is sad to admit this is a session pretty much everybody decided to skip so they could do live recordings Gotcha, There's stuff gotcha, going gotcha. on everywhere right now like this. I actually had a panel I was maybe going to go to, and then was like, nah, I, I owe it to this. That's right. That's right. So, uh, again, thanks for being with us. We wanted to give you a little bit of, you know, what it's been like to be here at mm-hmm. JordanCon, what we've experienced, uh, the fun we've had. This will be part of, you know, I don't even know where this is going to fit into the episode I have right no now. Idea. Right now. Uh, because this is part of, uh, you know, videos and stills and stuff that I'm going to drop in all together on an episode. Um, Zach, how you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing pretty well, um, surprisingly well, considering last night was some of the high point of Jordan Con festivities. There was. Uh, hey, I don't know about you. Last night was this morning. As well. I mean, it was this morning. Yes, yes. yes. Not as much as some people. I saw someone in the elevator today who said he finally turned in at about 8 o'clock in the morning, yeah. 8 a.m. Yeah, uh, that's when I got up. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I didn't go that hard. But it, it definitely was a good time with a bunch of fellow nerds and a bit of uh, indulging in... Libation. That's sure, the word. That's libation. Good. That's good. Yes. Um, so when we say, what are you drinking? Well, right now I'm not, because I was many things. Yeah, last night, what are you drinking? What, what are we not drinking? I got, I got to give credit to Jordo again, over there, because uh, shortly before going to bed, I was like, okay, one more shot. I'm ready for one more shot. And I couldn't figure out what to drink, and after talking oh, for no, a while... what did he put in front of you? Oh, hey, there's a guest. <gasps> okay, we're just going to interrupt here now. Come say hi. Yes. Come say hi. Because we've got... DT! <laughs> hey! The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. Yeah, I don't know about that, but oh, sorry, I got to stay on camera. You're good. I love you're that good. you're live streaming in the hotel. That's yeah. awesome. And, uh, you know, and especially with the dusty wheel going on over there right now, you know, so. <laughs> sure, sure. No competition, sure. but yeah, you it's been great to see you. You have fun? It, oh, oh, we've I had so much fun. Yeah. So much fun. What's your favorite part? Oh, oh man. That's so hard to narrow down, right? <laughs> For me, no. It's no. pretty easy, actually. Seeing and meeting all of the people that yes. we've gotten to see this fan community, getting to be in this space together, is just amazing. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I couldn't agree more. I mean, we've known you for over a year, but yep. now we finally yeah, met right. you. And isn't it funny? You meet and we spend so much time online and whatnot together. It's just like you, you pick right up. Like you've known absolutely, each other mm-hmm. yeah. strangest thing. The only so. difference is I'm like, oh, they're taller than I thought. <laughs> so How many that. times have we said that? <laughs> yeah. I've never said, oh, you're shorter than I thought, because that that's rude. <laughs> yeah, so we don't do that. But uh, all right, you guys enjoy yourself. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. So good to see you. You too. D-E-T. Where were we? <laughs> I don't care. Uh, DT, by the way, is uh, the host on Discord of the Watt Trivia and Games mm-hmm. channel. If you uh, haven't seen it, go check it out. Uh, that server's awesome. It before, but it's fantastic. So that's how we met him. We met a whole bunch of the Wheel of Time community through DT and through that server. So, yeah, definitely check it out. Lots of fun. Uh, we also thank you, DT. You're one of our patrons. Awesome. 
Uh, let's see. So, what were we talking about? Uh, uh, libations. We, had <laughs> we were. <laughs> oh, no, I was giving Jordo credit because I was about to drink one last shot and he said, hey, weren't you going to have some water? I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, did he actually so, get you water? No, I went and got a whole, well, I filled this again with water. And by the healthy, time I was healthy. done drinking it, I, I didn't want a shot anymore. Then I just went to bed. So oh. I woke up this morning feeling great. Well, now, like I was excited, but now I'm disappointed because <laughs> you didn't drink the water to get that one more shot. Uh, there's more people. Either one of you. Okay, look at that. Come get in here. We're talking to people. Here's another one of these awesome people we met. Say hi to Jake. Hey. Yeah. How we doing, guys? Uh, we've been talking about the best thing about Jordan Con is running into the people for real yes, now. Yes, for real. Yes. It's uh, it's been it's been a blessing. Honestly, it's been so much fun. It's uh, kind of surreal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Seeing the uh, the height difference. Some people are much taller. Some people are much shorter. And it's, it's been a lot of fun, though. But the one thing that's held true is how how just cool and friendly everybody is. Very much mm-hmm. so. Yeah, yeah. Not not a person you walk up to going, uh, yeah. go away, no. go away, shoot. Everybody's so friendly. Yeah, yeah. So it's been really good to it meet has. you face to face, and we'll keep this thing going. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Have a good one, guys. Thanks, Jake. You too. And those of you who have listened to us know that Jake. Well, you might not know, but he's the reason I'm reading The Expanse, which is that freaking excellent sci-fi series. So yeah, he got us into it. If you're on our Discord starter, you know Jake. That that's Stone Dog. Yeah. You say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, most of our people were like, yeah, cool, stone dog. Yeah, I'm like, you're <laughs> nowhere near Farter Eyes Mai. You don't have to have any sort of disdain for stone dogs. You're fine. Very good, very good. Um, yeah, Gaul's cool, too. Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, good guy, Gaul. Good guy, Gaul. I think they could probably hear the Dusty Will Do and their stuff over there now. Probably. That's, that's part fair. of the live fun of what's I'm happening here. It. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, you're dressed a little unusually. A little bit. Uh, if you've been paying attention to our Twitter, you've seen Rachel and I, uh, who have been enjoying this con, uh, went, hey, it's our first Jordan con, let's go a little bit out there. Uh, maybe not as all out as we will at other years, but for some things here and there, we decided, yeah. So each day we had a different costume of fun stuff. Um, if you want to check those out, Go Definitely. look at our Twitter. That's where Twitter. we got great yeah. pictures of yeah. them. Uh, speaking of people dressed in great costumes. There have uh, been some amazing ones. There's one right over there. Oh, well, like I said, each day. We should probably get her in now. I wouldn't say amazing costumes. This is definitely my most casual for the weekend. <laughs> so, but dang, if I'm not comfortable, finally. Because ah, yeah. yesterday, that was not so comfortable. So I, I, I bought quite the corset while here at Jordan Con. By the way, first con ever. Good place to start. Come on over next year, y'all. While Very we're fun. at it, let's give a quick little shout out to all the vendors, yeah. the artworks, it, everything it, in the it, dealer's it, hall. Fantastic. Phenomenal. The amount of craftsmanship. Even I bought something, and I'm cheap. We all bought something. Mm-hmm. Actually, I bought two things. I bought, Actually, no, I bought two things. Wait, wait, things. I bought Three two things. Things. things, but one was just a Jordan Kong grocery bag. I, got, uh, I did not get that. I got two art pieces dragons and the corset that I wore for 10 hours yesterday which was amazing that it, outfit I wow was, I was very proud of myself I was committed to say the least you looked great but I'm wearing, you are supposed to say that absolutely but I'm also being honest <laughs> I'm, I'm wearing I'm wearing a, just like a little, little casual thing today last day of the con finally comfortable Woohoo! That's there you go one. there you go but, so, so you guys all know who this is. You're pretty sure that's Rachel. You know, yeah. Uh, on the Discord server, what's her thing? She's the. Uh, uh, I'm the girlfriend. Is it listed as? The is girlfriend? it just listed the, the girlfriend? I'm the girlfriend. Because <laughs> we, well, because you know, y'all have labeled yourselves father, son. The yeah, girlfriend. Right. Father and son. It is. Girlfriend. Clearly. And if you've been watching our episodes, listening to our episodes, she's been on us for Mistborn. Uh, she's poked in now and then. So. Be sure to go and catch those. Little teaser. Third part of that will be coming still. That's right, isn't it? Uh, isn't it? She has the book with her that she's still actively reading. I am I am getting there. And it has nothing to do with whether or not I'm enjoying it and everything to do with being a grad student. <laughs> <laughs> but you've heard it from her now. I, I will be finishing it 
very soon. Yes. So the final missing third episode, Miss Born Error 1, will be coming to you probably more like June, maybe July. We figured out. Which I do believe Especially. was when we, around the time that we recorded the first episode. So it'll be a, a year of a Miss year. Born with... A, a year anniversary of the first Miss Born episode, because I was so on top of my reading. Yeah, remember when we were going to have it by Thanksgiving? Yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> so you thank know, you for bearing with us while that didn't happen. Bearing with me. We are patient souls, if nothing else. Honestly, I'm glad, because I'm not, so I appreciate y'all. <laughs> Alright, do your thing. Have fun. Cool. I, I will probably pop in and annoy y'all as I do. <laughs> but I'm going to go eat pizza after the crazy night last night. Which I partially blame this one for. Because I, He did course, mix her drinks. Well, oh, I, that one. I only did the one. one. But to be fair, it is on me. That inspired her to make more. Be, uh, so to be fair, it is partially on me. Because I set down my cup and I said, have fun. And I walked away. He delivered. I, I, could, I could have been worse. You I trust me. So I could have been worse. Like ketchup in it. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. Not that kind no of No ideas. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. Maybe, oh, maybe I'll start today. That's quite the attitude you have out there. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, uh, okay, we have a little bit more of the con still coming up. Yes. Because for those who've never done Jordan Con, it, it takes place... Friday, Saturday, Sunday. With like tail end of Friday, all day Saturday, beginning of Sunday, we close up mid afternoon. Yeah. If you want to think about coming to Jordan Con next year, it is already on the calendar. You can find it on the website. I've blocked it on my calendar already. <laughs> I'm definitely coming back. Um, but the smart people come Thursday. Don't wait till Friday. Made it through security. Now I've just got to wait for a flight and I've got the necessary sustenance to get me through. More progress. Getting onto the flight. Soon to be headed to Atlanta. Pretty stuff going on Thursday night. People mm -hmm. are connecting. It's all informal, but awesome time. You know, to meet people, people who love Wheel of Time and other fantasy and sci-fi. It's not just Wheel of Time people, though most people here are big Wheel of Time fans. So you come Thursday. You have the time to connect with people. I got in like five o'clock on Thursday. You got in late. I got Thursday. in late, so I had an experience Friday morning as I'm coming through, and everyone's going, "Yeah, I saw your dad. He said you were around here somewhere." And I was like, "Yeah, you probably saw him yesterday." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that still worked out for you oh, to be here. Great. You know, use Thursday as, as your long travel as you're day. Here Thursday then you've got Friday to comfortably be here. That's right, that's right. So certainly a lot of people show up on Friday, but I wouldn't recommend that. Then you're like, just trying to get here and get started. So Thursday. Some people come in Wednesday. I might do that. That'd be even cooler, have that much more time, because you're packing in all of this time with these people that you've known virtually, and, and more time with them is good time. Absolutely. And then it runs through late in the day on Sunday. So I know you're leaving, and this is Sunday, you're leaving later today. I'm leaving qu quite late, quite late but today. tonight. Whereas I'm waiting until tomorrow. Again, I think that's the cool move. Stick around an extra day. You don't have to worry about checking out of your room. You can hang out with people. And there will be some stuff happening late in the day, actually. <laughs> uh, so, you know, couch con will be a thing. Oh, always. Yep, yep. Uh, everybody just crowding around uh, there at the couches in the lobby and talking and hanging out till late. It, it'll go late again, I'm sure. And it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, there is great content happening, oh, too. You talked about the art and the, the shops mm -hmm. and the things over there. The charity auction was a cool thing. It was. And Jordan Con's a nonprofit, so all the money they raise goes to support uh, research at the Mayo Clinic for amyloidosis. It, the disease that Robert Jordan passed away from. Okay, so they're researching to better treat it. I don't know, maybe cure it someday, it, make that possible. Uh, so all the money used in Jordan Con, you know, they, they cover their expenses and then the profits go, go to, to that. the Mayo Clinic. And the charity auction is a big part of that because all that money just goes straight to the clinic. Which is fantastic. Yeah. So great con to come to, but also know you're doing a good thing by coming and spending your money here. And just coming to the con, I mean, it was $50 for a yeah, membership. No, it, it, it's not bad. Yeah, you don't buy a ticket to Jordan Con, you buy a membership. 
They are limited each year. This is the biggest Jordan Con they've ever had. It's completely full. I think there's like 1,200 people here, there which are, isn't huge compared to other cons. Now, there are a few people here and there that I know got their memberships and then were unfortunately unable to come. We hope to see you all next year. Um, yeah. yeah. Because... That's exciting, and I'm sorry that you didn't get to come this time, but there is next year. That's right. Well, you come to the con by having a membership, and if you buy it early, then it was 50 bucks like us. If you wait later, they release more tickets over time, but they get more and more expensive. I don't know what the most expensive was. I still don't think it was too bad. I Maybe $100? $100, 100 or less. Something. And then 95 or something? Yeah, something. It's still really Point reasonable. It's reasonable. And then they had great uh, rates here at the hotel. This hotel has hosted it really nicely. Uh, the Clown the Clown Plaza. The Clown Plaza. That's How's not, that sound? The that's Clown not Plaza? Right. Let's, let's not uh, the hotel. How about the Crown Plaza? Let's try that. I like that better, but it's still not right. The Crown Plaza in Ravinia, I guess, is a neighborhood here in Atlanta. It's a really convenient place. There's places to eat around. But if you come to the con, they actually feed you. You literally don't have to leave once the con starts. And that being said, you can, and there's great options in places, but you don't have to. Yeah. No, the food they're giving you is okay. I mean, the bagels, I had bagels both the last two mornings. Mm -hmm. They were fine. Now, (laughs) I saw Joe and Jen this morning from Talk Around Riyadh, the Wheel of Time showcast. They're great content creators. I'm very curious where this is going. Well, they're from New York. They couldn't to handle those bagels. Couldn't stomach those bagels. Because, I mean, New York bagels, man. That's another level. So I understood. But they worked for me. <laughs> now, we talked a bunch about uh, seeing people at the con, being at the con, experiencing things, but we haven't talked a lot about the con. Um, what have you been up to? What have you been seeing? What have you been enjoying? Okay. I've been enjoying right now when you bump the table because the whole camera doesn't earthquake. Hey, it's careful fine. there. Man. I'm gonna start shaking my leg with uh, <laughs> my leg on a beam here. It'll be great. Um, I chose. Okay, there's different tracks of content you can go to: panels and learning about different aspects of wheel of time, but fantasy writing, sci-fi writing. There's activities you can go and do. I've been going to all of the Wheel of Time uh, content for the most part this time, mm. which, you know, a TV show came out. Did it? It did this past year. So they've had a panel on the different episodes. Early on, they had a panel on adapting the Wheel of Time and what it took to do that. And, you know, they changed some things and not everybody agreed. You might have heard about that. That was a great, great panel uh, to attend there and start things off. And then I've hit each of the episode ones. <laughs> Those, yeah, those are done now. There's one more, one more looking TV forward related. Towards yeah, season two. Which, if you're uh, watching this, you probably know already. I'm on that panel, so that's coming up in a couple hours. I'm excited to watch that one. Maybe I'll heckle. No, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna heckle. Please don't throw tomatoes, I'm eggs. Heckle. You're gonna heckle. I'm gonna heckle. Bring no. it. <laughs> we'll do what we can. But we're just gonna be predicting now. What do we think's gonna happen, or maybe what do we want to happen in season two? Uh, so. That's fun. But what have you done? Because you haven't gone to the ones I've no, gone to. No, I've been going around to a bunch of other things. Some of it, I've done some Wheel of Time things, especially seeing that video from the cast and crew, which is now up on YouTube. Um, that was fun to see. But then I also have been overseeing like battle reconstruction of real battles, uh, some Cosmere-related things. Yeah. I did a couple things here and there in the urban fantasy realm. And nice. Seeing authors talk about their works, including the wonderful Faith Hunter, who is here as our author spotlight guest of honor. Oh, hey, I can fix my lighting. That doesn't fix it. No, it just it makes you washed out. <laughs> hey, that's better. <laughs> uh, and even yesterday morning, getting to do some sword and spear fighting. Um, yes, yes, we are. We are honored to be in his presence. I'm looking at Rachel. We are honored to be in your presence. Why? Uh, Why? What, what happened? Okay, so I might have won with the spear and then beat a blade master, therefore getting inducted. Um, in the tradition of the Wheel of Time, you which, defeat a blade master, witnessed, you are now a blade master of Jordan Cup. It worked out. I was dressed as an Aiel. I won with the spear. Fight. Strong. 
Good. Um, and as far as I understand it, next year, if you wanted to take a crack at me, um, I would Come be at an him. option. Come at him. So, <laughs> but that was so cool. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Um, I blame my heels for my lack of success. Yes, Rachel. Oh, Rachel in, tried. Rachel was doing sword fighting. Um, nice. In massive heels. Yeah, it doesn't help your that was balance. Small. So it was were they six inch? They weren't six inch. They were they, they were four hefty, five, four to five. All right. And they were like full knee length boots. She looked great. Not great for sword fighting. <laughs> Maybe uh, she'll change her D and D character now. Probably not, since it's fantasy and we can pretend. Now there's late night activities at Jordan Con too. And last night for me, late night activities was just sitting with friends all night long and talking having some mm-hmm. drinks uh, just it was great to have the freedom to just talk to tons of people but, but you was, did one of the activities mm-hmm. last night what did you go there do? was a big dance going on uh, they have this Rachel every year dance. In. Uh, definitely not my scene usually just because lots of people loud noises but it was a good time uh, and like we were saying with good people seeing and interacting getting that experience it was just an open and trusting space that was very comfortable yeah yeah awesome um the night before we spent some time down in the game room Mm -hmm. there's always a gaming space in jordan con where it's just lots of tables and chairs and go ahead have a good time with anybody jump in a game bring your own games provided uh for like demos you can grab and just play you can bring your own games so jordo this year at least you guys know jordo yeah he's here he disappeared now i can't get him on camera he was right over here uh, yeah, he ran before we could turn the camera. <laughs> Anyways, he brought exploding cats. Kittens. No, I said cats on purpose because I want exploding well, cats. The game's exploding kittens. <laughs> Actually, it, it, cats were good things. You could use the cats because they want to explode the kittens. No, but sure. The game is called Exploding Kittens. If you haven't played it, you've probably played it. If you haven't played it, it was fun. We had a good time together. I did not win. Rachel won. So uh, she she's worthy. She can she can game. She's got game. All right. Um, so, um, who are the coolest people you've met at Jordan Con? This is not saying their coolness. Just that it was cool for you to meet them, though they may be cool. The coolest person <laughs> was not a person, but a there. There have been two lovely pet sightings that I know of that were very much worth it. Um, the dragon? Did you see the dragon? There was a dragon, a.k.a. a bearded dragon. Do you remember the name? Ziggy Stardust. It Ziggy was Ziggy Stardust. Stardust. And yes. has been in costume. As well as... I don't think I got a picture of that. I should have, man. A wonderful oh. pupper, pupper named Basil. Okay. Who's been dressed up as well. Uh, had a nice cloak on and then some nice wings. Uh, 100% to me... The animals are the highlight. I'm sorry to everyone else. I love you all. <laughs> but see, animals in cosplay? Mm. Uh, I've, I've met a number of cool people. Of course, uh, enjoyed conversations with Matt Hatch, the innkeeper at the mm-hmm. Dusty Wheel. That's been great. Uh, I ran into Drew McCaffrey, friend of the show, has been with wonderful. us. Uh, the whole cast from The Wheel Reads. Mm-hmm. Spent time with each of them individually. Uh, Last night, I got to spend time talking with Craig Hanks of The Legendary. You posted on Twitter about trying not to fanboy too much. I was like, <laughs> ah! So, I mean, that's cool. Now, uh, Craig lives out in Salt Lake City, mm-hmm. and I'm going to be in Salt Lake City this summer. <laughs> so, we already made a plan to get a drink, have Perfect. dinner or something. You know, it's going to be fun. Um, man, uh, we could fill another 15, 20 minutes oh. just talking about all the people we've connected and with. And I have to mention some of meeting some of the people who listen and interact on our Discord. Yes. Magri. Our our Discordian from Sweden I'm has amazed. been here. You made it out. 
Uh, you are fantastic and a wonderful human being. We've enjoyed getting to meet you face to face. Not currently in sight, or we'd show you what Magari looks like. Um, but probably we'll do dinner with him again tonight over couch con. I think someone's ordering pizza. That works for me. Now, you're going to... Uh, there's pizza there already. I might be eating right now. Yeah, where'd you guys get that? Uh, up in the con suite, where they provide food That's for That's what they're doing for there's lunch today? pizza. Ah, okay. It's, okay. That was just a grab and go. Gotcha. There were six pieces in there. They told six us there were four pieces, pieces in there. there nice, were nice. Um, oh. No, also then Jordo, as we mentioned, and we yep. saw it. Jason, Gentle Giant Jason. Yes, we he spent a lot of time with him. Wonderful gentle he's wonderful giant. giant. He's overwatching Dusty Wheel because, you know, he's connected with lots oh, of yeah. communities. So, um, there, I just waved at him. <laughs> he, I waved at the side of his head, so I know, yeah, I Jason, you didn't see it. that right now. But, uh, again, it's been great seeing all the people. Um, it's been a great experience. If you have a chance, come and join us next year fun stuff you already said you're gonna be here rachel already said we're probably gonna be here which is to say we were talking about it and i was like you know i'd love to come back and she was like oh what we're not coming back next year i thought we were coming back next year no i was gonna go to okay she said you're probably gonna be here which means you're gonna be here yeah isn't that how that works exactly <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, I think this is a good time to sign off then because we got more con stuff to get busy and do, right? Absolutely. All right. So thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting us. Hope to see you at Jordan Con next time. Uh, and until our next episode, we'll talk to you next time.